containing at least one alpha hydrogen in presence of dilute alkali to give an unstable aldol or ketone. To get it stabilized, it removes H2O molecule, that is it eliminates an H2O molecule to give rise to alpha, beta, unsaturated compound. What do I mean by alpha, beta, unsaturated compound? I hope all of you know what is an alpha carbon atom, what is a beta carbon atom? Like in this case, this is my function group, so this is alpha, this is beta. Definitely the next carbon atom will be beta, like that. So when I say alpha, beta, unsaturated, what is an unsaturated? There is a multiple bond, double bond or triple bond. So you see here, this is the functional group. This one is alpha, this one is alpha. So this is alpha, this is beta. Between alpha and beta, there is an unsaturation. So the compound is correct. In case the double bond, I would have got it here. That means I have gone wrong somewhere. I hope it is clear the meaning for alpha and beta. The unsaturation is between alpha and beta. Then it is correct. Here also, this entire thing is the function group CHO. So this is the alpha, this is the beta. So uh, you can see here a double bond has been formed between an alpha and an beta. The name of this compound, but2enal. I can also write this part as 2-butenal. Must see here this part is much more, you should be careful. 2 means refers to this E part. In the second position, there is a double bond. This is a common name for this, crotonaldehyde. This is very important conversion. You are, uh, in the board examination, you get a question like this. Convert acetaldehyde into crotonaldehyde, an important question. So I have taken two molecules of acetaldehyde. Here I am taking two molecules of AC2. Suppose I would have taken one molecule of acetaldehyde and one molecule of acetone, I will get a different compound. Now such type of naming reaction is called as cross aldol condensation. I hope it is clear what is aldol condensation and cross aldol condensation. In case of aldol condensation, you have similar aldehydes and similar ketones. Cross aldol condensation, you have got an aldehyde with a different aldehyde or an aldehyde with the ketone. I hope you have understood what is an aldol condensation. Children, you have got an exercise question of an cross aldol condensation in completion of the reaction. Please do it and try to this, do this reaction. This is a very, very important question even in terms of entrance examination. I hope you have understood the concept, oxidation and reduction. Thank you.